सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गो नो शेयर अबाउट माई गूगल क्लाउड जनरेटिव ए आई लीडर सर्टिफिकेशन दैट आई टेकन रिसेंटली सो दिस एग्जाम फोकस इज ऑन द फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ जनरेटिव ए आई इंक्लूडिंग द डेफिनेशन द टर्म्स एंड एवरी थिंग द गूगल जनरेटिव ए आई सर्विसेज एंड ऑफरिंग्स इन द सेम एज वेल एज यू नो हाउ कैन वी ऑप्टिमाइज और इम्प्रूव द जेन ए आई आउटपुट uh from the services by tuning or by grounding or by like how to reduce hallucination and all uh, the things or techniques for that and lastly also how to build the strategic jani ai solutions jani ai solution okay so these are all the like the four pillars of the exam so about the exam i can share as to this video it is going to be a short video regarding my experience and about uh, the basics of the exam and uh, the difficulty level resources that i used a short video around that so firstly about the exam it is a 90 minute exam it has the 45 questions and all are mcq based like the single option will be correct and you have the 90 minutes to answer the questions and all are like application based so mcqs uh, and some of them were also on the theory based okay so the difficulty level of the exam i would say like easy to moderate kind of dif difficulty because i feel uh, like if you are well versed with machine learning or you are already working in gen ai field uh, then you will find this on a easier side and the way is the concept like for me i haven't worked much on gen ai in my day to day work but i am also i am interested in learning about the genial stuff so i found it interesting to learn okay so it is a good exam to take and uh, once you cover all these fundamentals then it would come on the easier side okay and uh, the difficulty level or the level of the mcqs level of uh, mcqs was also like you know moderate level few were like i would say uh, from 45 questions around i would say 5 to um 10 questions they were kind of you know uh, like the dicey ones or the confusing ones wherein uh, more than uh, two option like two options were correct out of four and it was kind of confusing as to which one to choose uh, for the answer so for that only we will uh look into the resources or what all things are used for practice purpose like uh the resources there i'll divide it into two parts one is the learning one and one is the practice one okay so for the learning one i referred to the so uh, i had referred to a training course that was given uh by uh the google cloud like the learning path that is given so this is the learning path that is give, that is provided by the google uh, cloud and uh, they are having five courses in this one so it goes uh, like the basics the foundational concepts the navigate the landscape it uh, refers to how can we uh, introduce the strategies and everything in google in designing the genai solutions at the organization level and genai apps includes the vertex ai and gemini how can we use it to transform our life to transform Um, to make our work faster and this is for the organization specific okay these all courses i felt that these are enough to uh, you know like kind of uh, get the basics around the concepts um like this is enough and uh, you can also refer to this uh, video course by this is recently launched by free code camp so this word uh, this word also i think it covers all the concepts that are required to pass the exam so this is also a good one you can cover either of this and uh, yeah uh, i have also prepared uh, some notes and in the later videos i am planning to uh, post some videos around uh, the concepts and like you know teaching or sharing those concepts but uh, let's see that's a future video ideas and uh, you can refer to this exam guide as to get the ideas around uh, what all things might be asked on the exam like the sections the uh, it detailed it gives what all concepts uh, you can expect to be quizzed upon be questioned upon and uh, these are all the question uh, like the topics from which the exam uh, were the questions were you can use the free code camp video okay 
and uh, you can you should refer to the exam guide to understand the scope of the exam yeah and for the practice you can use the exam topics uh, website it has around uh, you know like 35 to uh, for 40 questions like the 35 ones were viewable and after that it was paid but uh, I, I had used this and there were also some practice test uh, like present on YouTube like the videos and I linked those in the description uh, that I had referred to like the uh, they also had some good practice questions to practice and I had practice from this one apart from that you can also uh, see the practice test on Udemy as well uh, they do have a uh, quite a good of uh, practice tests available and but the MCQ is like once you practice to these uh, two websites two three websites also this are the videos they are you are pretty much good enough to uh, you know get a hang of it get an idea of it and you can uh, you know like the practice would be done more of more or less and yeah that was my experience or uh, raw experience uh, from the ex from giving the exam recently and uh, hope you find this helpful and uh, see you guys in the next one.